I'm Dr Kim Gels. I'm a reader in computational materials chemistry at Imperial College London. We know we're facing lots of problems, resource scarcity, climate change, so we need to find new materials, a new material that can filter water, material that can generate energy for us renewably. So what if they're all out there? But the problem is there's near infinite number of possibilities. What we're trying to do is to use computer simulations in advance, predicting the structure. And once you know the structure, it's much easier to predict the properties of the materials. And then from that, we can tell our experimental collaborators which materials are worth making in the lab and which aren't. We make our code open source, which is really important to us. But of course, we also mutually benefit from where there's many other groups that release their bits of open code. The joy, I think, from science comes when you're not having to view other scientists as competitors. It's truly opening up the possibility for global cooperation for the first time on some of these really massive challenges in materials discovery. Over the last two years, I've had the role as the co-director of EDI, Quality, Diversity and Inclusivity, in the Department of Chemistry. It's really important to look at what is the experience of students from lots of different backgrounds. And I think the more we improve the situation with the underrepresented groups, it actually has a side benefit of making it a better place for everyone to work as well. The favourite part of the job for me is every time any of the group members has their latest bit of data, their latest predictions of like, are these materials and these are their properties and you go and you, know, you can look at their models together with them and see that data. The other really great bit, and it may be months <laughs> later still, that, that is also being tested in the lab and you get the first hit of where they've been able to make something that came from our prediction.